Hello, it's Miss Cara from the Coventry Public Library, and we're here for today's Family Fun Friday to make a coat of arms. And if you think about knights, we have some books up here on knights and their shields, and you think of a coat of arms. So they had a shield, and they started to put coat of arms on there to explain about their family, to give people idea about themselves and what their family was all about. And that's what we're going to make together today. Um, so lots of times they started out on a knight's shield and then the coat of arms they would eventually they put it on a flag or they could put it on their tunics so it was on more than just the knight's shield and then later other people started using them as well not just knights um, that they wanted to have a coat of arms for their own family so we're going to think about things that are unique to your family, things you like to do together, you and your siblings or your cousins or whoever lives in your house with you. Um, and that's what we're going to make today for our craft. So they're going to start with a paper. So you need construction paper and you also need um, poster board or if you had some cardboard at home, lots of times boxes. Um, you could have your grown up cut some of that for the cardboard. It just helps the shield be a little more sturdy. And then we're going to get to the coat of arms part. So the first I have is this shape. I made mine this shape. So the, there are books with different shapes and it said the knights started with basic shapes for their shields and then later as they used them more in tournaments they got into fancier shapes. So, But we're going to start with a basic shape today. So I made a, like a diamond shape so you could start with this type of shape or the one I use for my coat of arms. My shield is this shape so it looks like a U if you made a capital U but a point at the bottom. So I cut my shape out of construction paper. You choose any color you like and then you also um, want to cut it out of the same shape out of cardboard. Like I said you could use poster board or a box and this helps the construction paper stay. So then you glue it to the cardboard and it just makes it a little sturdy. If you don't have any poster board or cardboard you could just use cardstock or the construction paper. So that's the first basic shape, make like a knight's shield. And then for the coat of arms, like I talked about, you could use any symbol um, that you like, things you and your family enjoy doing together. When you think about your family, what comes to mind, and you can draw those shapes, or you could cut them out. You could look the magazines um, and cut them and paste them. If you had all the magazines at home, or you could draw them right on to the shield, or if you want to draw them first, and then cut them out and paste them on. So I'll show you what mine looked like. Also, I had some um, gold paper here. If you had gold or silver, I had some shiny paper at the library. So I used this as well as decoration. So I'll show you mine. So this is what I made for my family. And it also says there are different symbols. Um, they didn't have these symbols <laughs> um, that I used, but they also talked about colors in some of the books I read about a coat of arms. And each color stood for something as well. So a family would put uh, a color, one solid color, or I put two colors. Blue, they said, um, was loyalty and yellow is generosity. So I did half for my shield, so you could do that. You could make one color, or I did two colors on mine. I used construction paper and cut it in half, and I used the, the cardboard to trace it, and then I glued it on. And I chose, these are um, what's special about my family. We like to play games together and read together and go on hikes or bike rides or at the beach outside things together, things outdoors. So I chose those three symbols for mine. And you could put any symbol you wanted on your shield to make your family coat of arms. Like I said, it's going to be unique and special to your own family and then you can hang it up after. You could put it on your door. Um, if you had different people at home, you could make one person could each make one, so you and your sibling could have their own, or you could just make one together. So that's our craft today for our coat of arms. So we're gonna make a shield first, so you're gonna get your shape and cut it out of cardboard, and then decide on the colors you want for your shield, and then you're gonna make your pictures for your coat of arms. And we also have lots of books here at the library. Um, you can make an appointment to pick out books. We have nonfiction books on castles and knights and shields. So 
all information about knights and queens and for nonfiction books. And then we also have some fun fiction reads about stories, so made up stories about knights and kings. So you can check out those at the library today. And remember our theme this summer is Imagine Your Story. And next Friday, for our Family Fun Friday, we're going to be making a fairy in a gnome garden together. So for that, um, if you'd like to join me and do that together with your family, you can call the library today and schedule a pickup time for some of the pieces for the fairy garden. So we're going to have um, some materials your family can use together to make your fairy and gnome garden for next Friday. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope to see you again soon at the Coventry Public Library. Bye.